This is crazy, man. Well, I know you're wondering, how did I end up here? Well, in order to tell that story, I need to take you back to the beginning. Oh yeah, it's finally here. Oh no, nah, that's a lot of shoes. Yeah, he might need to put that back. Yeah, he might need to put that back. So Foot Locker reached out to me to customize over 250 pairs of New Balance 990 V6s for their team week corporate event which will be held in austin texas so basically i'm doing all the pairs for all the attendees of the event this is by far the greatest opportunity i've ever had as well as the biggest project i've ever had as well as the most difficult project i've ever had before receiving the shoes me and Foot Locker went back and forth on coming up with the design for the event incorporating the colors the logos things of that nature for the event to make sure each pair feels like a, a release something special like a whole packaging situation you know so basically i had to turn all pairs from this into these pairs minus the team week logo and the Foot Locker logo on the back with a project of this magnitude i had to convert my spare bedroom at the crib into a sneaker office factory situation you see originally the plan was for me to take about three months to complete the project comfortably and get the shoes back to austin before the event but things don't always go as planned Foot Locker had a little bit of issues securing all the sizes to the point where actually the V6s were not the original model we were gonna do. Nope. We were originally gonna do a pair of New Balance V3s, but we had to switch to the V6 because they could not get all the sizes for everyone at the event. So that's how we ended up doing the V6. And because of those issues, it went from me having three months to basically about a month and a half to complete all the pairs, which as you can see, Dante was super excited about. Now me, I'm just one person. In order to complete that many shoes in that amount of time, I'm gonna need some help. So I went and got some help. First off on the squad, we have Alyssa, AKA project manager, AKA mama Alyssa. I basically taught her how to paint the shoes and she basically taught me as a human being, I need to eat every three hours in order to survive. Because apparently when I'm in grind mode, I sometimes forget to eat. Then there's Bay, AKA wifey, AKA right hand, AKA my ride or die, AKA second in command. She was basically the extension of me, the second me that I never knew I had. Without her, I'd probably go insane. I probably would have been over homeless in Costa Rica somewhere. And then there's Dante, AKA Dante Bubba Diaz Brathwaite. He didn't really do much except eat and shit and be depressed that I couldn't play with him every five seconds and be handsome and cute and shed everywhere. But other than that, yeah, he was there. He was part of the squad though. They were not the only two people to help me, but they were by far the MVPs of this project. Without them, this would have been a disaster. But shout out to my boy Art, shout out to Dorothy. And also there was another customizer that I gave about 80 pairs to do but remember that for later on oh yeah and i also can't forget my biggest fan my baby nephew Caden, aka uncle boy he basically did almost the same exact things that dante did basically eat shit and be depressed that i couldn't play with him all the time to complete painting these shoes it took every ounce of physical and mental discipline that i had developed over the years i was basically painting shoes for 12 plus hours a day wake up painting going to sleep painting non-stop i'm not gonna lie there were nights where i went to sleep with my hands sore and i was like damn i gotta wake up the next morning and do this again but man it was all worth it i was able to get all pairs painted at least about 180 pairs that i had left to paint painted See, part of getting this project done was to get custom packaging made. Me personally, I can't do custom packaging for 250 plus shoes. So I had to find a supplier who was capable of handling such a task. And boy, oh boy, even just finding the supplier was a bit challenging. You know, I tapped in with a couple of people who have their own suppliers and basically they didn't want to give up their plug. People were being mad stingy with the information. So I had to find my own supplier and i was successfully able to find one on alibaba for those of you unfamiliar with alibaba basically alibaba gives you access to different suppliers and manufacturers in china from clothing footwear jewelry all types of things basically whatever it is you could think of they have a supplier for it all right once i found my supplier who was able to create boxes insoles and even custom tissue paper for the shoes 
we got started on the design. The boxes and the paper and the packaging all came out looking perfect, visually wise. And once I got in all the packaging, it felt so real. It was so amazing to see the designs that you came up with on the computer just in your actual hand, like seeing the box, the insoles, the paper, everything coming together. It was like, wow, this is real. This is really happening. This is amazing. But that does not mean they didn't have their own set of issues, you see? My supplier, who I ignorantly nicknamed China Man because his name is incredibly hard to pronounce, he misinterpreted my size chart that I sent him for the different size boxes. So what ended up being the small kid sizes, he ended up making toddler size boxes for, where the smallest shoe size that I had couldn't even fit in them. And because he thought the kid sizes were toddler sizes, he sent insoles that didn't fit properly in those shoes. So basically most of the kids and women's size insoles were basically screwed up. As well on the size stickers, he accidentally left the deformed Foot Locker logo, which my Foot Locker contact jokingly called the wingman. Cause I mean, he does look like he could fly. So I could not use the size stickers for the project. And to add in because of time constraints, it takes about a month for everything to get sent over. There was not enough time to order new boxes and new size stickers. So thank goodness that we put in an extra order for 50 extra boxes. So basically I took the smaller women's and kids size and put them in the giant men's size boxes. So at least those people had a cool custom box to have. The size sticker situation, I just let Foot Locker know that there was a mishap with the size stickers, but they informed me that thankfully they have someone that can make custom size stickers. So they'll have a bunch made for the boxes when they get there. So I didn't have to worry about the size sticker issue. But with everything coming together, I started getting excited. You know, my adrenaline is pumping. I'm like, yes. I'm almost at the finish line. I could see it. You know, I'm excited. Everything is coming together. And then all I had to do was wait for those 80 pair of custom sneakers that I gave to another customizer to do, and I would be done. All that would be left is ironing on logos and packaging up the shoes. But then the worst unthinkable thing happened. So remember earlier in the video, I mentioned that I gave a customizer 80 pairs to complete for me. Mind you, this customizer is not a small customizer. They have a whole operation, they have employees, they have a warehouse, everything. Well, to make a long story short, they waited until the week before I had to finish everything to let me know that they might not be able to finish the 80. And then basically when I had about four days left, they basically let me know that they only completed 30 out of the 80 which leaves me with about 50 to complete in four days. Mind you, that's not the only situation. They were also the ones who created the logos for me, the logos that I need to iron on to all the pairs. I was just expecting in those four days to just be ironing on logos onto the 260 completed shoes. Instead, not only am I ironing the logos onto 260 shoes in those four days, but I also have to complete 50 pairs from scratch in those four days as well. When I tell you this was the peak level of frustration and anxiety and every single emotion that you can have, I had it. I had it instantly. Mind you, I couldn't even get that upset because I had to stay focused on how in the world am I gonna complete 50 pairs in four days as well as ironing on all the logos onto all these pairs and packaging up every single shoe within the next four days and that my friends is where project manager Alyssa comes in you see Alyssa went ahead and hit up all the art homies and basically gathered them up like the goddamn Avengers and pulled everyone together I had to turn my girlfriend's crib into a factory. I pulled in as many friends that could help me as possible. My girl pulled in as many friends that could help us as possible. We had everyone in there, all right? Anyone who could breathe, who had eyes, hands, a pulse, they were helping, all right? I had everyone in different stations. It had people who were focused on just painting certain areas of the shoes. It had people who were just focused on ironing on logos. It had people who were just focused on doing insoles, focusing on doing packaging, focused on doing like every little intricate thing that needed to be done to complete all 260 plus pairs as best as we could within these four 
days. For a second, I thought I was a drug kingpin running a drug operation. It was insane. And I tell you, this was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was most for sure. I think for everyone who was involved, it was probably the most insane thing they've ever been a part of or ever witnessed. I even had my mom doing stuff. That's how serious it got. But you know what? Through every hiccup, through every setback, I was able to bounce back. I was able to focus and overcome with the help of all my friends, my support system, everyone. And to be honest, even though this was probably the most stressful thing that has ever happened to me, it was also one of the most beautiful things that's ever happened to me because it allowed me to see who my real friends and family are and how much people really do believe in me and how much people really do support me. But after a couple all-nighters and hella gallons of caffeine, we were able to complete and ship out everything in time before the event. And as I shipped off the shoes and watched them leave and depart over to Austin, I sat down and I was like, wow, we did it. There ended up being nine pairs left over that needed a little bit more work. Which ended up being okay because all that was left to do was to take them with me as I fly out to Austin. Or so I thought. What's up, y'all? I'm reporting live from here in Austin. You know what I mean? Foot Locker and Family out to Austin for this special team week uh, event. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be painting shoes live for one day and then I'm out of here and I'm back in the city. So, yeah, um, I guess this is vlog time. And you know, it's only right that as soon as I get here, something gotta go south, all right? It gotta go south. As you can see, one of the paint bottles bust open in my bag. Um, I don't know how, but it, it somehow bust open while it was closed. So we got us the situation, but luckily I prepared myself for the worst case scenario. So I wrapped every shoe up in uh, garbage bags. So we don't have an issue. And even the naked pairs don't have any issues. So we're good on that. We're solid. All right, I'm gonna try and move this stuff so I can get set up and uh, get started on all that I gotta do while I'm out here. All right, this the room, this is what we looking like, this is what we doing, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Foot Locker. Shout out to the fit, you see, you see the fit, you see the fit, you know, it's not serious, you know what I mean? Yo, this is crazy. Wow, we out here, wow. Yo, they went in. They really took over the whole hotel. Like, this is official, 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 official. Man, this is crazy, man. I think this is the room I'm gonna be in for day one of the event. So quick update, my troubles weren't over just yet. Before landing in Austin, I was contacted by my contact at Foot Locker and notified that some of the insoles on the smaller shoes were too small. Remember how earlier I said that the China man, he messed up on a couple of the insole sizes? Well, amongst the chaos, some of the pairs ended up with the smaller insoles. So the plan was to try and ship them out to Austin next day air. Now the issue was I flew into Austin Sunday. The event is on Monday. FedEx, UPS, all of them, they would not be able to ship it out next day air Sunday to Monday. So I put on my thinking cap and came up with the solution. Well, the only solution that I had was to fly my girlfriend out same day air by getting her a flight ticket and having her carry up all the old original insoles so we can replace the smaller ones with them. Mind you, this is far more chaotic than what I'm describing because I had to get the flight tickets before I even landed in Austin. Her family had to scramble to help me find a decent price flight ticket from Miami to Austin on the same day. They also scrambled to get all the insoles paired up together. It was, it was a scramble to say the least. But we made it happen. We got her the ticket and all that was left for me to fix up a couple pairs before the event. Well, this room about big as hell. Uh-oh, I see my shoes. Uh-oh, I see my shoes. It's kind of crazy. I was just working on these like a couple days ago and now they're here. This is wild. Yo, this is sick. This is a sick setup. 
They even got the side stickers on all the boxes. I definitely need the shoe display. There's only one thing crazier than the shoe display. They got me my own name tag, independent sneaker designer. Wow. I'm here to save the day. <laughs> I got more than 32. That's good. What do you want to keep well, after my knight in shining armor came in, we fixed up the shoes that had the smaller insoles with the bigger insoles that they separated for us. And basically, I just touched up all the rest of the pairs. Officially 3 a.m. I just finished wrapping up, fixing up all the pairs before tomorrow's event, before they get handed out to who they belong to. Like I said, a lot of hard work and dedication went into this project right here. All right. You know, you guys have seen me start from doing shoes in my living room to now I'm at a, a Foot Locker event. I got invited to do shoes for Foot Locker. That's crazy, literally, you know? A lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and a lot of psychoticness, you know? But like I said, this is one of those things that's gonna hit me later on, because you know, I'm kinda in the moment, stressed out, a lot of, there's a lot going on, you know? But. You know, I'm kind of, I could sit back right now in this one moment right here and say I am proud of myself. I'm proud of how far I've come and I can't wait for tomorrow. I am going to wrap all this up, go take my ass to sleep, get some rest. And uh, yeah, I'll show y'all how everything's looking tomorrow. But before I go, let me say goodbye to my children. Bye children. Bye. Today's a big day, it's official. You see it, you see it, you see what's happening, you see what's going on. I'm gonna head down there, start my mission, start my day, start my painting, you know what I mean? Basically, we're gonna paint two shoes, we're gonna make them hot, make them fire, make them foot lockery, and uh, yeah, that's what the mission is, that's what the job is, and we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it do what it do. Here's the setup before everyone gets there. There's a catering company that's gonna be serving food and drinks. There's a live band that's gonna be playing. My booth, you see it in the back. There's also gonna be a station for people to pick up their custom jackets that they have, as well as Jason Marks, the sneaker cleaning company is gonna be stationed right next to me. There's also stations for games like cornhole and other things and activities set up all around, like a little lounge area and everything. So it's a pretty dope setup. And here is where people will come to grab their sneakers while I paint and customize some shoes. So yeah, this should be awesome. This is kind of a surreal moment being here at this event like this, you know? My boy Carter was holding down the booth, handing out everyone their pairs. He's a manager at Foot Locker. He's here as an intern. Because at these events, they usually only allow district managers and up. As stressful as this project was, seeing everyone excited to get their pairs and seeing their reaction to Getting these shoes made all that stress and chaos that much more worth it. Seeing all these Foot Locker employees from all around the world hyped and excited about receiving their new shoes, I realized that what I just did wasn't normal. Even though I'm nowhere near my goal, the fact that my hard work and dedication was able to get me this far is something that I, I, I will never take for granted. Sometimes you work so hard that you barely see any progress, but that's just it. Sometimes the hard work is the progress. It prepares you for when you're faced with challenging moments and it allows you to be prepared for whatever opportunity presents itself to you. I guess what I want people to take away from seeing this is that life is hard really hard things rarely go the way you ever plan it you get bombarded with challenges left and right but when you have a dream and something that you're passionate about as cliche as it sounds you should never give up don't ever let society tell you what you can and cannot do let your passion tell you that because at the end of the day you're the one who has to live with either trying or not trying and me i rather live with knowing that i tried everything i could to achieve what i wanted to accomplish than to know i played it safe and not tried at all there is no exact book to tell you how to accomplish your dreams. You basically write that book every day that you try. So keep trying. Don't be afraid to get out your comfort zone. And who knows how that story is going to go. But I do know one thing. If you keep trying, it's going to be a good one. It's over. It's officially over. I am done with this project. I am finito. I am done. But I'm keeping this forever. Oh, no, I got dirty. But I'm keeping this forever because I am not only JSB the creator, but I am Javorni Brathwaite. 
independent sneaker designer. Or in this image, Tenendent Ren Jism Fregarit. And then backwards. I am done! I am free! No, babe, what you doing?